Ha ha ha, yes, baby. We're going out there and doing this very, very intentionally. Today we are talking about a prospect in the Edmonton Oilers system who had himself such a good career in the NCAA that had everybody super stoked. And he happens to be the older brother of a guy we just talked about two hours ago. Let's talk today about Edmonton Oilers' 100th overall pick in the fourth round in 2020, Carter Savoy. Because when it comes to Savoy, this is a name that, you know, we talked about him just a few hours ago, as I said. Buffalo Sabres prospect, his younger brother, is pretty good. But Carter Savoy, unlike his ninth overall counterpart younger brother, was not really ever highly touted as Matthew was. Carter instead had himself a different type of profile, and if you get into everything, there's a little bit of a dichotomy that brings itself up. Because if you had seen the previous video, you would have known that younger brother Matthew is a very skilled, very creative, offensive play driver playmaker who excels with the puck on his stick, who can make brilliant passes and beautiful plays. He reads the game with such a unique lens compared to everybody else on the ice. Meanwhile, Carter Savoy, the older brother, is not necessarily that same type of profile. He happens to be bigger than his younger brother. He's 5'10", 192, left-handed, left-wing, forward. And, as we had said, he was taken in the 100th spot in 2020. Where Matthew is a lot more of a playmaker, play driver, Carter is, without any exaggeration, THE, with a capital T-H-E, goal scorer. When he was drafted in the 2020 draft, he was taken out of the Sherwood Park Crusader system in the AJHL, which is Junior A Hockey in Alberta, and in this league, he had 54 games played and 53 goals. 99 total points on the year. He was a goal-a-game guy. The scouting report goes out there and magnifies this, too. Savoy reads defenders like few others in the draft. He's acutely aware of opposing sticks and actively baits them. Oh boy, I was going to make a joke there, but uh, yeah, that's probably not appropriate. Savoy is deceptive. He looks off his targeted play and keeps the same grip on his stick, whether he's passing, dangling, or shooting. Savoy fires with power, precision, and with some trickery, using screens to his advantage. Now, the thing is, Junior A hockey in Alberta is not the bee's knees. It's not super highly touted. It's not super highly scouted. There are some good players that come out of here once in a while, like Kale McCarr, for example, but the caliber of play in the AJHL is not akin to the WHL or the USHL. Therefore, the numbers, the productivity here, while it is great, there are some things that you have to take a look at when it comes to Savoy's profile just as a whole. He had 53 goals in 54 games, yes, but if you watch some of the tape of AJHL footage back in this time frame, you'd find guys that didn't really backcheck, you'd have way too much time for these young forwards to get their shots off, there was really not great defense, it was kind of all over the place. The AJHL isn't brilliant hockey by any means, and as a result, you've got some guys that can really go out there and just exploit that particular setting, get a bunch of goals, get a bunch of points, and Carter Savoy was one of them. Because of this, the skills that he had, we knew he was a goal scorer, he was projected to actually going somewhere in the second to third round, based off of all these scouting outlets. Outlets ranged from having him in the 32nd overall spot to 91, but you didn't really see any scouting report go out there and label him in the 100 spot, which is where the Oilers ended up taking him. The thing with Savoy in his draft year as well was that there were so many moments where when the opposite team would have the puck in his own team zone, he would just be waiting out at the red line for a breakaway pass or not really participating in a defensive cycle. He really didn't get involved any time past his own team's blue line, which was a very big red flag for a lot of scouts in this time frame. Now sure, you could say, well, he is the top goal scorer of the team. Why does he need to be participating in defense? Well, Maybe because participating in defense is part of playing the game, but either way, Carter Savoy, despite the fact that he had some weird issues in his draft season, he was still a talented goal scorer, and he was still taken by the Oilers. Give it two seasons with the University of Denver Pioneers, and Carter Savoy only ends up showing these skills off more so in the NCAA. 
We had talked the entire time about how his goal scoring translated, and we made all these videos talking about how he was so good and doing this and doing that, and they got a lot of views, and Oilers fans were super excited, and his sophomore season with the Pioneer saw him put up 45 points and 23 goals in 39 games played, a very solid number for a second-year guy, especially for a player taken in the 100th overall spot. But this previous year, things didn't really go all too well for Carter Savoy. In the last video, we had talked about how his younger brother Matthew had a pretty good step up from last year to this year. But Carter Savoy could not necessarily say the same thing. You see, he had signed his ELC, he joined the Oilers organization, but he played last season in Bakersfield with the AHL and only had 11 points in 44 games played. Eight goals, too. So, for Carter Savoy, the previous year's worth of play wasn't really all too great, and a lot of people would say, hey, what's going on here? What happened? This is where I wanted to turn your attention to Savoy's own comments. This is from Development Camp back in July, and this article was published by Michael Akuri on NHL.com. Here are some notes from Savoy during Development Camp. I can score goals. I know I can. I've just got to be confident, get to open ice, and bury my chances when I get them. The article opens up talking about how he had himself a less-than-smooth introduction to pro hockey in his first full season with the AHL's Bakersfield Condors. The article talks about how he led the Pioneers to a Frozen Four championship and a Hobie Baker nomination for himself. The talent is there, and Savoy hopes a full state of 72 American Hockey League games will be enough for him to show it. Obviously, ups and downs like last season, I had a couple of injuries there and I didn't play as many games as I would have liked to. But it's a good learning step for me, getting my first pro season under my belt, and I'm looking forward to building on it this year. The article then brings up how he had a hat trick, his first pro hat trick back in January against the San Diego Gulls, and Savoy believes that his hockey sense, along with some physical gains, will help him stack up a few more performances like that game against San Diego. Yeah, obviously the plays are happening a lot faster, you've got to get the puck off your stick a lot quicker. I think adjusting, I'm a smart player, so using my smarts and brains to find the open ice. The article then goes into a discussion as well about hockey sense and how younger brother Matthew's got a bunch of it. Carter says this about his own, that I think the way I see the ice just growing up was at a different level than other people. Just understanding different parts of the game, I think a lot of it is timing too, just being in the right place at the right time. And so for Carter Savoy, there's a lot of identity going on here. A lot of conversation about him saying that he knows what he should be able to do. How he's confident that he can score goals, how he's confident that he can read the plays better than others, and that he feels that these skills just have yet to manifest themselves truly at the AHL level. Now, the fact is, the fact that a fourth-round guy has gotten himself a contract and is already playing AHL games, that in and of itself is great. Doesn't even matter if he's good or bad. The Oilers got a fourth round guy that can actually be useful for them. But at this point, if Carter Savoy is able to capitalize on the great genes that he has, because, I mean, let's face it, younger brother Matthew is a top 10 talent in the 2022 draft. That's some pretty good company to keep. If he's able to manifest that type of a profile and start scoring a few more goals, really getting more comfortable in the AHL, and just learning more of what it means to be a pro hockey player versus a player in Junior A in Alberta and in the NCAA's NCHC division. Not to disrespect at all, but the NCHC isn't the Big Ten, and the AJHL is not the WHL or even the BCHL. Savoy has played against a bunch of competition that you could say that, comparative to other leagues in the same range, is somewhat inferior. And I'm not going to go out there and discredit an entire league's worth of hockey players, it's just kind of how it is, you know? Matthew Savoy played against WHL guys and he dominated. Carter Savoy dominated against AJHL guys, Junior A Alberta, and he didn't play defense. So, it was kind of an adjustment for him to be able to do this, and now he's in the AHL doing things with Edmonton's farm team. It was always going to be a tough adjustment, but he's here now, he's doing his thing, he's confident he can get better, and all for a fourth round pick too? It's honestly looking pretty good, not going to lie. So, if you're a fan of the Edmonton Oilers and their prospect system, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about the way Carter Savoy progressed throughout his draft? I was about to say draft plus one season. No, first pro season, let's just say it like that. We made a bunch of videos about him when he was scoring goals upon goals and goals in the Denver Pioneer system, but we didn't really have the chance to do that this year because he didn't score as many. 
What are your thoughts about how he goes from here on out? Do you think he's got it in him to get that goal scoring touch back in the AHL? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this Vrishash Rolls 99. And bye.